what's up everyone photographer ronix from ronix photography and in this tutorial today i'm going to be showing you guys the power of dodging and burning and the difference it is going to make to your images in photoshop so basically what is dodging and burning dodging and burning is a skin retouching technique that uh, enhances the highlights and the shadows in the images so basically for dodging and burning we have two types of dodging and burning the first one is micro dodging and burning so for micro dodging and burning uh, we try to blend uh, or remove it is more of a corrective way of skin retouching whereby we look for a particular area I'm going to first turn off my frequency separation and we are going to come into that later so we turn off or we look for a particular area that seems to have uh, maybe a shadow or a highlight that is not meant to be in that particular area for example I'll get my brush and I'll come you can see this area right here I hope you guys can see it so as you can see the overall area right here is meant to be a shadow so we can see some kind of bright areas here so for micro dodging and burning we get we get uh, a dark brush yeah we get our burn brush or a dark brush and we just paint over this bright area to darken it so that it can uh, match uh, with the overall surrounding uh, pixels or the textures in that particular area and same for the highlights when you find a dark part you just brighten it up to match with the rest of the highlights in that particular area so that is the first type of uh, dodging and burning then for a second type of dodging and burning uh, we have uh, the global dodging and burning and for the global dodging and burning we basically enhance the highlights and the shadows for our images so like you can see for this case uh, this was the image before it was uh, retouched as you can see that this was the image before we did any skin retouching to it but uh, this should, uh, usually happens with people who do frequency separation while, while they are doing their skin retouching for their images in Photoshop so remember most of the times frequency separation tends to uh, flatten the images and it removes the shapes or the beautiful contours or the beautiful highlights from the image so you can see this was the image initially before and this was it after retouching it so you can see we lost out uh, those beautiful contours in the image and remember frequency separation most of the times uh, flattens the image and removes those beautiful contours or shapes or dimensions from uh, the images so that's why most people tend to go in for micro dodging and burning because uh, it doesn't uh, flatten out the image yeah it keeps all these beautiful contours so this is basically uh, for people that do frequency separation so you can see we kind of flattened out the image and we lost out those beautiful dimensions or shapes for this very image so we're going to learn about how we can get back those beautiful shapes or the dimensions back into this very image and before i can go ahead if at all you're learning from this tutorial and haven't subscribed don't forget to subscribe this channel because you're going to be learning so much and a lot of important and educative content is going to be uploaded on this channel at least twice a week and before i can proceed further i'm ronix from ronix photography and let's continue with uh learning about the global dodging and burning so we want to enhance or bring back uh, these beautiful shapes or dimensions and if i told you that to learn about frequency separation that i use for retouching this image i'm going to put the link for you right above here so that you can learn each and every secret step and you can follow it in depth and learn about it even more why you want to retouch your images so this is not a retouching tutorial it is more of a dodge and burn tutorial so 
for dodging and burning we are going to be using the curves adjustment layers and we are also going to be using the brush tool to paint over or enhance the highlights and the shadows for this very image so we're going to come right to adjustments click right there then come to curves click on curves so remember dodging and burning or global dodging and burning is more of enhancing the lights and the shadows so in order to do that we are going to first of all create the curves adjustment layer make a midpoint just click and make a midpoint first of all we are going to move it up slightly yeah not too much just move it slightly until the image starts to brighten up like this so we're going to close this by clicking right here make sure the mask is selected like that and we are going to hide this effect make sure the white mask is selected so when it is selected are we going to hide this effect right here by clicking ctrl or command i on the keyboard to hide this effect so we're going to name this a dodge so sorry i don't know what's wrong with my spelling so we're going to name it dodge then you're also going to come right down here and come and create a second curves adjustment layer then make a midpoint and now we are going to uh, push it all the way down slightly and close it make sure the layer mask is selected click ctrl or, or command i to hide that effect ctrl or command i so i'm using windows so basically i'm going to click ctrl i to hide that effect so we're going to name this a uh, burn so when we are burning we darken and when we are dodging we brighten so we are going to put these two in a group by clicking or holding down the control button and clicking on both layers to select them and you're going to click ctrl or command g on the keyboard ctrl g for the windows and command g for mac users so to put this in a group so we're going to name this uh dodge and burn so when we name this uh, dodge and burn uh, this is going to be our dodge and burn group so we're going to click this down the drop down icon and we're going to create a black and white adjustment layer in between our dodge and burn group to help us really see where the highlights and the shadows were initially so select your burn layer or the top layer for whichever case you may have used because some people prefer to put the dodge up and the burn down so the order doesn't matter really so get or select the topmost layer and come right to adjustments and create a black and red adjustment layer and now we are going to push it down slightly uh, push down the red uh, the red slightly I think that is fine so the reason for doing this is because uh, we do want uh, we want to clear see where the highlights and the shadows were initially for this very image so we are going to first of all select our dodge layer or the layer mask then come right here and select or click on your brush make sure the opacity is at nine percent and the flow 100 percent like that and for the hardness sorry for the hardness make sure it is a soft around brush so i'm going to turn down uh the opacity or the hardness to zero percent so that is it so come right here to these tiny swatches right here make sure you have white on top and in order to get it back to a default if at all you have different colors right here click on these two boxes right here i hope you can see them so when you click on them you get black and white right here so make sure you get white on top by clicking x on the keyboard yeah or press x on the keyboard like that to get white on top because we're going to be using a white brush uh to paint on a black mask in order to reveal uh the bright parts in the image so make sure the opacity is at nine percent and the flow 100 
so and when it, when you're doing this make sure you don't totally zoom into your image make sure you get a reasonable zoom of around 25 percent so increase the brush size by using the left and the right brackets but for increasing you're going to be using the right bracket on the keyboard and just paint over the area you feel should have had highlights for this image in and in order to see that clearly you're going to turn off the frequency separation uh, group and just paint over those areas we feel should have had highlights for this image so just come and paint over those areas so we're going to come this side too and just paint over the areas we feel should have had highlights for this specific image so we're going to come to the forehead and just dab over like that then i'm going to come right here to her knuckles and also brighten up these highlights then we have a highlight right here next to the collarbone and i'm also going to enhance that then one right here and just so basically what i'm doing i'm just enhancing the highlights for uh, the model's face and i'm kind of doing some contouring on her face so we are going to first of all see what we have uh, so far done so make sure the dodge layer mask or the black layer mask is selected hold down the alternate button and click on the layer mask to see what we have so far dodged you can see we have dodged at uh, these areas like that we have dodged all these areas so release the alternate button or you can just click on the alternate button and click again on the mask to reveal back your image so come the burn and do the same so make sure you're on the burn layer and paint over those areas you feel should have had those beautiful shadows so we are doing this uh this is more of a uh, contouring or bringing back the shape or dimension to our model's face uh, that we may have lost out while we are trying to uh, do the skin retouching using frequency separation so they reduce on the brush size and just enhance these beautiful color bonds for our model so turn back the frequency separation uh, group and we are going to come to the black and white layer and delete it of course because we no longer need it so we want to see what we have done for the dodging and burning for this image so you can see this was the image uh, before dodging and burning and this is the after before after before after you can see we have brought back the beautiful uh facial lines or the beautiful contours on uh the model's face so basically this is going to transform your images and your images are going to really stand out and be like those kind of the vogue or glamour magazine kind of look so you you're going to be having the best images out there so you should start doing this to your images and you'll be transformed as a better photographer and your photos are going to really rank highly and if at all you love this tutorial don't forget to subscribe this channel don't forget to hit the like button on this video and don't forget to give us feedback in the comment section i'm ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and i'll see you in yet another video or tutorial on this channel and stay safe and keep creating